Good morning guys, so welcome to today. Today we're headed out, it's early, and we're headed out because that's what you do on a weekend. It is Sunday, and I have something super fun I want to do with the horses later. And, but right now we're headed out to get shavings because I thought we had more. And we don't, so we need them for poor Mr. Chino Bambino. Actually, it's so cute, Sophie. It actually looks adorable on you. Yeah, I know. Thumbs up this video if it looks adorable on Sophie. Yeah, that one's more girly. But I love that one on you. Look, that head's not fit. It's girly, but I don't like it as much. We are at Tractor Supply. So that we could buy Schleich. Just, yes. just kidding. All the Schleich. No Schleich. Oh, look at that blue unicorn. That's cute. Look at all these. Uh, we're at Schleich because. Cute. No, we are not at Schleich. Yeah. We are at TSC Tractor Supply. Look at all the Schleich stuff. Oh, look at they have all these ones too. These are adorable. I love the little tiny things. Little dogs. Get this horse to make it chase everyone who enters the field. Yeah, that definitely looks like a chasing kind of horse. This is Gus. Gus. <laughs> yeah, that is Gus. <laughs> anyway, they also have some like little kits down here. I think we probably already have most of that. Oh, that one's cute. Those are cute too. That's a cute one. All right, let's go. That one is absolutely stunning. I feel like we have one like that though. No. Fancy meeting you here. So, we're. Dog toy section. This is the dog toy so section. To one of these oh, so, of oh, those are cool. So, basically, I've been trying to say we are here because I want to look at them. The stuff that you can. I'm walking away. I'm walking away from you guys. They keep distracting me. Basically, I want to see what kind of like medications and stuff they have. Oh, I might have found the exact right thing. Not so much for the dogs, but more for horses. Maybe I'll keep looking. But I want to like make our first aid kit better. Does that make sense? I want like our first aid kit to be better. And actually, I want to shoot a video on our colic kit. What you need to have on hand if, in case of colic. So this is the this is the pet medication stuff. But they have stuff for like fireworks, anxiety, medication, travel medication. <gasps> that might work for Daisy if we ever had to take her on a long trip. Look! That new thing for Daisy. Wow, that is weird. Yeah, turn around. Ow, it's, it hurts. <laughs> Ow, it's too, it's too sharp. Daisy would chew this. But look at Sophie, they have travel anxiety. But actually, she doesn't get anxiety. She throws up. I want to make her not throw up. Yeah. Uh, can we get it so I can take Daisy on a car ride? I don't see one. Digestive, but I don't know if that's for... Uh, no. I really want to look and see if I can find stuff to add to my equine first aid kit. Here's some These are stronger iodine. Treats? Yeah. Remember Finney's? No, not those. Here is Underwood's veterinary health product, but it doesn't say what it is. Finn used to finish these in one. Oh, I know. Like, I remember. Oh, this is like, it must be for your feet. Do you think this is for their feet? Underwood. It is because it's got copper sulfate iodine. I don't know, that might be good for a horse's feet. Oh, that's cute. And it goes on your horse? It goes on your... Saddle. Saddle? Oh, that's adorable. And it comes with a water bottle. And I could do that with my horse because she's so chill. Yeah, that's neat. Alright, I came unprepared, you guys. Unprepared. Uh, mineral ice. One step cream. I don't know what any of this stuff... Oh, that's leather cleaner. I don't know what any of this stuff is. Uh, I like the... I only like the ones that... Yeah, have the four knots. Pink oil. Like, there's just so much stuff. I don't know what it's for. Alright, well. I told Willow I need to get her a new 
I think what I need to do is make a list of what I want and then figure out where to buy it. That might be the better way to go instead of just go to the store and grab some first aid stuff. This will fit Willow. Yeah, that's adorable. It's so cute. Somehow we ended up in an area where they have syringes and that is absolutely something that I'm always looking for. I like the ones, I need the ones, I don't like that kind with the point, just a little bit of a pointy edge. I need ones with like a, a pointy edge, but those syringes are definitely going to be on my list. They found a master lock. Wow. <laughs> All right, tractor supply was a bus. This is the water. Yeah, I know, that's, that's cool. It's automatic water, I think. Yeah, and I, our hose could definitely, like I think we could have one of these easy. So far in the world of chickens, we have little twins. Just joking, they're not actually twins. This is my favorite one. It's, oh, they're cold. Oh no, is she getting spots? She's getting spots. No, she's not. Look on her head, is that spots? No, that's just her hair. No, it's spots. No, it's just her hair. All right, so I think we have a pure white silky cross. Hello. Pure white, guys. She hatched yesterday and she's so cute. Oh my goodness. This one's the cutest though. But honestly, like so, so cute. So then you guys saw this one already. This is mine. This is a silky cross. They're silky Easter eggers. Uh, Sophie loves this one the best. It is so super cute. It's a scorcher out here and they're shaking from like cold because it's windy. We're really scared of us. Anyway, it's like a nice, it, I guess it's a blue. It's all gray with dark gray on the top of it. I got it. pecked five times. You got pet pecked five times? In the times? same spot right here. Okay. This is the other one. And then this was the first one. They're like, oh, the sun feels so glorious. <laughs> They're sunbathing. So this is the first one that hatched. He oh, just no. tried to chase a bug. Oh no, what? I see something. What? Um, well, first of all, this is the one that we first had and it's going to be a paint. So it'll look like the mom. I think it's going to be white, but maybe even like a tan color and then black and white or black, little black spots all over. But sometimes when you mix like one breed that has a specific kind of hair with another breed, then you don't get like the silky hair. You get like a more coarse fur and I really want the silky hair. That one's a noisy. Yeah, she is so noisy. So anyways, we have decided the that... about the ones that I like is that they're all roosters. Yeah, so we've decided that these are two girls and a boy. I'll try and show you guys how we decided. She but is... I'm keeping him no matter what. All right, so essentially, when you have a baby chicken, let's see. Let's see if I can show you. When you pull out their wings when they're really young like this. Whoa. <laughs> it's like no. Can you do it? Just wait, just wait. Yeah, pull it out a little bit for me. So when you pull out their wings, see like that? You can see two rows of wings. Like see the ones at the beginning right there that are really long? And then at the back, they're almost exactly the same length. Those wings were all started at the same time. But his is just fluff. When you have a boy baby chicken, it you have that first row of wings at the beginning there. And then there's no wings behind. That whole row of wings right there are missing. So do you guys see? Boy. And then pull this one out. Girl. Do you guys see how there's like two, two rows? And by two rows, I mean like that row right there and then that row right there. So a girl, can you point to them? We'll have this row and the back row. And then the boy will only have, show them the first row the first row they won't have these back feathers but then eventually as they grow older they will get two rows of feathers so you kind of have to do it when they're really young but you can do it for a long time like they're a lot bigger when you can still see the difference look you can see the back row. yeah you can see them but see these are new starting these are new starting no they're just buried under fluff yeah they're no they're they're <laughs> They're just buried in the fog. Yeah, they didn't start. Those ones are, are come second. Like the first layer of feathers, when they're almost all the same length, that's a girl. So we suspect so far we have two girls and a boy. And the boy is always the one that Sophie wants to keep. How do you feel about that, Sophie? I'm keeping him. No, you can't keep every boy. I'll get rid of chipmunk for him. Really? Yeah. But we already have a boy. Silky, but that's purebred. If he turns out exactly like that one and the running away from everyone, you're keeping him. 
Comment below which one's your favorite. Sophie's favorite and my favorite. And the reason that this one's my favorite is because we already have one like that. We have the mom and the and a, a rooster like that. And we don't have anyone like this. But I am worried that she's going to have spots. She's not. I see Can I move spots. this pillow to let them search for bugs? I really want just a pure white one. You guys, shavings for $10 a bag today. $10 a bag! I have honestly never seen them that price before. They used to be like $6 a bag, then $8 a bag. Now, $10. $10 a bag. Also, Sam discovered something else I want to show you guys. Remember how I said we bought this trap or he bought this trap and it's like filled with flies? He says that this attracts flies. Typically we don't have that many flies at our house. But it's like pulling in the flies. So uh, yeah, it's catching the flies. But it's also pulling in the flies. What the heck? <laughs> we have more flies now than we ever had before. Because they're all coming to feast at our at our fly feast. It is actually quite nice outside. Quite nice. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> they're all just standing here looking at me like, what are we going to play today? Anyway, Gabby's coming down to rod her boy. This is what we do now. Trying to get him ready to go back to the other barn. He's a big horse and he poos a lot. I actually love cleaning the winter paddock. I've learned so much about it. You guys probably don't care, but what happens is that, especially in this extreme heat, a poop decomposes and becomes like dirt, I guess, really. It just becomes like all this loose dirt, it looks like. But if I scrape it all up and get rid of all that dirt, then I'm left with like a nice, flat, compact ground. And it slopes down so that when the winter or when the muddy season comes and it's coming soon, then all this stuff here stays nice and dry. And then it just it gets wet and gooey down there. So I love to clean it all out. See, I still have down there to do. Difference down there. And down there, I always sweep it into big piles and then I bring in my buckets and I take it out. It's super satisfying. And then like in the winter, you don't get those big, huge piles of mud. So even when it's like muddy season, your horses are never standing in like piles of mud. Does that make sense? Just like a small layer of mud because you've cleaned out all the, all the stuff, all the mud and all the decomposed poo i guess anyways i think that's what's happening but i do it every single year every summer i keep up on cleaning out the paddock having an extra horse at home has made it take longer this year but it really helps because we never get like that big thick standing mud out there you know how like sometimes mud will get so thick and deep in the paddock i honestly don't know how that happens i suspect it comes from like all the old poop. Leave it. I suspect that it comes from leaving all this stuff in. Then you add water and you get like standing poop. Like a big, huge, thick, knee deep poop if you leave it long enough. Hello, Chino Bambino. Is there bugs? Yeah, I can spray you. Let's try it after she's done grooming you up. So, Gabby. Dusty. He's dusty. <laughs> he just he just walked up to Gabby and smacked her with his nose. No, pushed her. Me. Yeah, pushed her right like forward. I swear we have everything. I'm using this. In all different areas. Like we have so much stuff all scattered around. This is some antibacterial stuff that I use. I have I have stuff in here. I have stuff on the table. I have stuff in that box. I have stuff in the van, and then I also have stuff at the other barn, and I also have stuff in this tack trunk. I have stuff everywhere, and basically I want it all in one spot. And I like want Why it in. Glowing? I want it in a tub that is small enough that I can carry from place to place. Nothing's working out because we need like certain stuff all over the place. It's just been annoying. Me. Yeah, you're a kissing boy, aren't you? Until he bites your face off. Which, yeah, which he does. He do. does like to do that. But anyways, um, so that is my goal in the next couple of weeks is to like solidify our 
first aid kits and I also want to make a colic kit. Inside, oh, I missed it. I come inside and Gracie's standing all posed like this beautiful girl. Sam's been out here half the day cleaning up. He moved the poop pile for us because we always dump it. And every time we dump it, it gets further and further out here, but he pushes it back for us. Penny wants to go. Penny wants to go too. He's, she's like, what are you doing with my saddle? That actually looks really cute on him, to be honest. He's like, I thought this was a rest place. I thought I was on vacation. <laughs> you wouldn't like it, Sophia. I do like it. Do you want me to tighten your girth? Is it not tight? Well, it's slid a little, it looked like. Well, no, it's not tight at all. It's not, no. I tightened it so much. You want me to tighten it? Let me suck at it. Oh! <laughs> I suck at it! Can you go sit in the barn when she's tightening her hair? For some reason, every time I set the camera, I would not like to. It keeps changing back. Gabby, are those good now? These are on top. Of I know, them. and it's annoying because they actually. I don't know if that's if you should change it around. No. Should it, oh, I wasn't sure if you should go the other way. Then it would be backwards. Oh, all right. Oh, oh did you spray him with bug spray? I did. Oh, good. All right, Chino Bambino. Well, they kind of fit. <laughs> you want to meet us at the arena? I'm going to the arena. Well, I'll go to the arena. You go around the trail there, and I'll meet you there. Before, hurts her ankles already. I riding, Gabby wanted me to ride him. I was like, no, I'm done. So the reason Gabby's riding him western today is because she's still not doing like a lot on him. And is she... Didn't want to change. She didn't want to change her clothes. Dogs are coming with you. Oh, look, Gabby, you're riding at home with your dog. Unfortunately, our arena has suffered this, win this summer with us not riding in it. It has turned to grass. The mares are freaking out. Penny's like, where's my man? Aww, I love that. Molly? Molly? Someone just drove by and 100% said something to Gabby. Gabby and her dog and her boy. Hello, handsome man. There's a bee, there's a bee, there's a bee. <laughs> Gabby is afraid of bugs. She's been afraid of bugs ever since she was a little girl. Take him around a few times, Gabby. Go around that way. I'm a little sad about the grass in the arena. Your saddle's squeaky. Yeah, my saddle is squeaky. I love the squeak. Yeah, he's very bouncy. A small snake? Did she say there's a snake? Sophie's like, a snake! And then it can't. How do you expect me to do that? <laughs> shake it and then grab it. Shake it, shake it. Yeah! <laughs> Did it bite you? No, I tried. Ah! It's so cute. Further away. Wow. Don't bite me. <laughs> ah, don't put it down. It's going to be fast. It might have peed on me. Sophie gets peed on by Bobby every knows. wild animal you can find. Wow, it's slithering. I know, I chased it. So the way that this, our footing is, we bought like nice footing and it doesn't, like plants can't get like a deep root system in it. So you can just pull them like that. They just pop right out, wait. It's not Bill. Watch, it just pops out. Like you don't even have to pull hardly. It just slides out, so. Maybe I'll get the girls to come out here with me. It's just awful when it's hot to try and do it. But see, like I just cleared this big spot. <laughs> oh, it is so cute. She knows I don't, don't know. But let's see, like, let's see its tongue come out. 
Okay, I'm gonna put oh, it back. That's cute. Yeah, she knows, like, I'll just stand here and eat the grass. I'll pull it out for you, Laura. <laughs> Should I put it in there? Yeah, it probably came from probably. somewhere. That's a nest somewhere. It's a baby. I mean, do you love them? Aren't they yeah. cute? It's Theodore. It's Theodore. Gabby's named him. He's yeah. Theodore. <laughs> Chino, that's gross grass. Yeah. All right, we got to pull all this grass out tomorrow. Mm. That's the job. We're riding tomorrow. Yeah, we ride tomorrow at 1. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to... Yeah, we're each going to get like, we're going to divide it into four. And we're each going to have a spot. So yeah, he was adorable. Right there. It bit you? Because that's where the paint is. <laughs> oh no. Hey, get to my friends now. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I like it though. Alright, keep working him out a bit. Dude's got to go for a walk, it's an exercise. I like him in a western saddle. It bit me. Are you okay? It hurts. Wait, right there. Yeah. It bit me. Should we go you suck out the poison? Put your mouth on it and suck and then spit There's it out. There's no poison in gardener snakes. We've never been bit by a snake before, so I don't know the protocol. I just saw There's that in movies snake. before. Will you ever pick up another one? Yes. <laughs> Not an adult, she says. That's funny though because I was like like having to hold in all my stress when she was picking it up. Hill, hills are so good for him. We have this little hill here. It's perfect. Technically no. Gabby, don't dogs. worry, it's not poisonous. Yeah, I know. I can't believe you it. like it though? Why riding western? Tina likes it. The I know, I need to fix that. I kick it the other one. I know, that's the only bad you thing about this. That turns it out. Yeah, I need to put like a broom in it, hang it up someplace, put a broom in it, and train it to stay mm -hmm. out. Hi, handsome. Gabby, I dare you to say hi. Like, this is what excites me. Gabby's not. Like trail riding, saddle, western saddle, trail riding. That's what I want. I don't like trails. She will like trails though. When you do trails the way I do trails, Sophie, you'll love them. Gabby's but I, I like scary. some fun stuff. Actually, I've been invited to go to a really fun place with my mare. Don't you know that you're beautiful?